is brought to you by Society Art Villaray. This exclusive gallery features local and international artists showcasing their extraordinary artistic talents. This fine gallery may also serve as a venue for your special events. You can find them on Instagram and online at societyart.ca. Thank you, Society Art Villaray. And now we return you to your podcast. Oh, yes, we are back. We are back with another Sessions with Steph. Uh, this one, as you can tell, is going to be a fun one. We got four guys here. A band that sounds amazing, which I'm going to introduce soon. Uh, hi, Lisa. How's it going back there? I'm doing very well. What's up? She's reading Facebook as she's doing really well, but it's okay. It's all right. <laughs> I'm uh, informed. She's getting informed. Exactly. You better get informed because the sponsors, you have to help me because I don't remember their phone numbers. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, obviously we start off by saying Sessions with Steph. It's a fun podcast, musical podcast. We always have great guests and today is going to be exactly like every other week and always we up it up, you know, we bring it up a notch and and these guys are amazing. I've heard them play. They're, they sound fantastic. We're going to talk about, you know, their career, their interests, uh, how they came up, you know, how they came to be. Um, but before we do that and we talk about music, we talk about our sponsors because you know what? It ain't easy buying mugs that say Sessions with Steph. You know, <laughs> stuff like this, you got to work for it. And, and these guys help us out a lot. They, they, they help us uh, keep the lights on. <laughs> they help me buy the tequila, which we're going to have. That's a fucking important thing. Um, so basically, our first sponsor, and I'm going to show you the can. It's like this was like uh, angels were singing when this guy <laughs> sponsored us. It's Bira Fanelli. So I got a fucking alcohol deal. <laughs> a guy sponsoring cool. us. He's giving us support while ha giving beer. And look at these cans. They're, it's made here in uh, Sorel, I think. Sorel, oh. Quebec. Yeah. So it's giving you happiness, too. It, this is happy. This is <laughs> joy. It's like joy. joy. Elation. And you know what? They make different types of beer. Bira Fanelli, they have, this one's a limone, so a, a lemon beer. They make cool. a pumpkin beer. They make, uh, you know, obviously their their regular ales and, and stuff like that. But it's fucking amazing beer. Yes, uh, I've had a lot of it. <laughs> <laughs> Just saying, uh, and I get to have another one today. So this is uh, besides the shots we're gonna have. That's a different story. <laughs> so yes, thank you, Bira Fanelli. Give me the information, Lisa. So Bira Fanelli, thank you so much, Frank Fanelli, for your sponsorship. Um, it's actually an Italian tradition, um, and it's quality beer. He's crafting natural organic beer and it's passed on generations to generations and it's crafted in our, uh, the plant Sorel Tracy uh, but they do offer the beer in uh, bars they have them in depeneurs they have them in stores so if you ever are interested in trying the beer it's definitely available uh, you can always contact them directly as well uh, they are located at 100 Rue Plante in Sorel Tracy uh, or you can contact them directly, 514-262-8654. Thank you so much, Bira Fanelli, and um, we really appreciate your sponsorship. The plan was to drink the beer during the podcast. The problem is they sent the case, and I finished this. I'm down to my last one. <laughs> it's that good. That's the it's fucking that problem. Good. It was like every night it's there. Oh, it's just God, a test another one. Too. <laughs> so, unfortunately, sorry, guys. I couldn't offer you more because I ran out of beer, and I was too cheap to go get it because I'm cheap. You got to keep the lights on. You know? <laughs> um, but we will have another drink. Uh, and we also have Van Cropso, guys. Okay, real yes. estate. If you got to buy a house, if you want to buy a building, you know, uh, for your business, they do commercial, uh, Van Cropso from real estate. He's the most amazing guy, super down to earth, listens to your needs, looks for you. He can sell your house. He can do all of that stuff. He's been helping us for quite a while yes. and he's the nicest guy and he knows his shit in the real estate game. Lisa, where can we find Van Cropso? Well, you can find him at Remax Alliance or Equip Copsal. 438-402-9471. His email is vnc at remax-quebec.com or vancopsal.com. Thank you so much, Van. You're the man. Amazing. Yes, yeah, we even came up with a, a, a slogan, a cat frame. I came up with that. Van, you're the man. <laughs> and so for that, we have to definitely do a cheers because it's a sessions with <laughs> stuff. Uh, you know, for our sponsors, we do a cheers. And at the same time, I'm going to welcome Housefly Hum, Amazing band. Um, let's cheers to you guys and our sponsors. Cheers. Salud. Cheers. Thanks, Thanks for having us. Thank cheers. you, man. Cheers. Thank you. This is. Cheers. I've been meaning to do this one for a while. Salud. Oh yeah. Salud. Salud. That's great. One shot. One shot. One. Yeah, that's one good. Shot. There's more. There's, the, the bottle's here, so <laughs> don't worry. 
<laughs> Nickels the water. <laughs> that's how you get me talking. You know? This, yeah, that's this it. is my water. I wash it down. There you go. There's a problem. Fuck. I got problems, man. I got it. I got it. They call it eau de vie. We got to start a new podcast like for, for me, like just where I just release all my, my issues, you know? Anyway, guys, welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank so you. to start off, I know you guys sound great. I've heard you guys play. Uh, even a little played a little tune before, and it's going to be cool. You're going to play it on the podcast. Um, I want you guys to introduce individually and your role in the band and, you know, what you do. And then we'll talk about how the band came out. So sure. let's start with you, Dominic. Uh, Dominic, uh, guitarist. We only have one guitar, so lead, rhythm, all that. Uh, backup vocals, songwriter. I also mix and produce our music. Uh, yeah. Cool. My name is Lawrence. I'm the singer. A uh, bit of songwriting here and there, too. Lyrics, too. Um, but yeah. Singer. Uh, my name is Mike. Uh, bassist, backup vocalist, songwriter, and uh, that's it. And that's it. Okay, yeah. cool. And the drummer. Yeah. The <laughs> yeah uh, my name is Raymond. I'm a drummer, percussion, whatever. Amazing. Yeah. Did you guys play at a wedding recently? We did. Yeah. Someone yeah. was married. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I saw yeah. a yeah. clip of that. Yeah, yeah. we got asked yeah. to play um, at a wedding. Basically, they had a list of songs that they wanted us to play. They really like us as a band, so yeah. they were like, is it okay? And uh, we had a really, really fun time. Yeah. Cool. Uh, and we got a lot of good feedback, obviously, but it was a lot of fun. Yeah. yeah. They, were, they weren't like looking for like your typical wedding band vibes. I guess yeah. like it's one of my, my old friends from, uh, from like elementary school, high school. Wow, it's cool. Like, they're, they're a couple like really into like rock and like, oh, we want a rock show at our wedding. Perfect. Like our wedding <laughs> yeah. song is like nothing else matters. So, like, yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. Yeah, so we man. did their first dance song. Okay. And then we broke out into a half an hour set. It was like we went and play a cover show. It was fun. Yeah. It was so a party. It was a lot of fun. Man. It was a real party. Yeah. Cool. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's a lot of fun. So how long has the band been together? Um, I think since like 20... 13, 14, I want to okay. say. Yeah. In a while. So, like, the way it started was, like, it, it's, we just sort of pieced together everyone slowly. It wasn't just, like, everyone, we just all started, like, together at once. So, I guess, like, two of you were friends and you started it kind of thing? Yeah, well, we were all, like, friends. Like, I introduced Ray afterwards, but basically me and uh, Lawrence were in a, another band, which eventually, like, we broke up. But we still stuck together and... Uh, yeah, Dom and I have songs. been playing together for the longest. Yeah. Well, out of okay. the four of us. Like since what, 2008? Like, yeah, 2009. 2008, 2009, since high school. Wow, that's really um, cool. Shout out to which high school? Laurier. <laughs> Laurier Mac. Mac. You guys are all Mac guys. We're all, oh, yeah. we're all Mac. We are. He's cool. Pearson He's Pearson. And Pearson. And I went to JFK. And you went to JFK. Yeah. Oh, that's pretty cool, man. El Mac. That's yeah. my Real my EastEnders. Hood. That's my hood, man. <laughs> uh, my right? mother yeah. was the secretary of El Mac for oh, cool. like 30 years, kind wow. of. Wow, yeah. cool. Not when you guys were there before. Yeah. <laughs> and I lived literally like a walking cross. distance. My brother went. There you go. Basically, my true. brother went to Lori and my parents said, you're not going to Lori. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Yeah. Okay, so you guys. Yeah, so we've been playing. We've been. This is our second band together. Yeah. Um... We are in a band before called The Grove with Paul Maffei and Adam Pasalacqua. I don't know if you know. Oh, Adam. Yeah, 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 yeah. I played yeah. with Adam. I did, uh, yeah, we played, we played one, one show together. Yeah, it's a great guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah he's yeah, all yeah. over the place. So cool. he, uh, yeah, he's playing everywhere for sure. Yeah, he's great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. so after that, um, we brought in Mike, because uh, we, we, we were in the same pad buildings. Like, yeah. I had a, a, a room next to their room. He was initially with a, in a band. Yeah, we used to play together and that okay. didn't, didn't know that, that also didn't last. Yeah, that didn't pan out. So we basically like joined forces. Yeah, like, cool. Yeah. That's fun. Yeah. You know? And uh, and eventually we went through like uh, two drummers. Two to three drummers. drummers. Like, I don't know. I feel like it's always like the last missing piece. <laughs> uh, and then I had remembered um, one of my old high school bands, like my drummer would teach him uh, drums. He would give him lessons like so I would see him over at the house or like after one of our jams or whatever. Okay. I remember, yeah. oh. Who was that? If you don't mind. Uh, Kevin La Palermo. I don't know if you know Kevin. No, I don't. He's like a metal drummer. Okay, cool, cool, yeah. cool, cool. cool. Yeah. He's, killing he's it. touring the world right now. He's still playing. Oh, yeah. Right? He's yeah, he's touring all, all, right? for him. all around the States. And stuff. Oh, sweet. That's yeah. so good. Cool. Yeah. And, so, and, yeah. So I had, I had remembered that, that Ray was 
a drummer in my memory. I was like, let me, let me hit him up. You know, we would chat now and then. I was like, send him some of the, the songs to learn. Because our first EP that we had released, Adam, we had asked him to yeah, just fill our own drums because we didn't have a drummer. So yeah. it was like, here's these five songs, learn them, whatever. But it wasn't like he's going to be in the band. He just, yeah. you know, did yeah. us a solid. He's busy. Like, he's super busy. Yeah, so he did us a solid. And then once we have those songs, we're like, here, we can shop around the songs and find the guy that fits. Yeah. You know what I mean? And we'll land it on Ray the fit. And Ray fit. They're, they're, still, Ray they're fit. still looking. They're still <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. a better option. We'll see, you know. <laughs> I, you went to Pearson, right? Yeah. Oh, okay, that's amazing. I do the, uh, I run the ECA, the after school music oh, cool. program now. Oh, really? It's about oh, the I last three done. years <laughs> running. We have like a band, a band. Oh, that's good. And every Wednesday, all the kids meet up. That's and, uh, fun. That's I good. go there, I teach, I teach a bit of drums. That's a bit cool. Of cool. Yeah, cool. yeah. Cool. Nice. There's it's more music. I don't know if they have no. that. Yeah, do well, they always um, have that? It stopped for a while. And yeah, for so when I was there, it was music, but Yeah, not they like... used to years ago, because I don't know if you know Daniel Vicentio. Yeah, yeah, I know. You know Daniel? Yeah. He went to Pearson, too, so they had it when he was there. And then they stopped, and then they called me literally Grace. You know Grace? The, uh, no. She's the <laughs> VP, the vice <laughs> principal. Shout out Grace. I don't think she was. <laughs> no, I don't know. I think, it, no, I don't. Honestly, I didn't, I didn't. It's such a big school. I don't even yeah, know what people's names okay. are. <laughs> it's like when I was there. <laughs> he wasn't the most I, studious. I graduated. Uh, I graduated. Uh, you graduated. Shots, there you go. And you played bass, so that's even more important. Yeah, yeah. I started later, though, but yeah. Did you? Yeah, you started later. Yeah, I, didn't, I started towards the end of high school. I used to play drums when I was younger. Ah, cool, man. But um, I couldn't do both. I noticed how bass and drums sat together. Yeah, yeah. yeah. See? You got to yeah. stick together. The rhythm uh, section. The rhythm <laughs> section. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, we actually, we actually had to fight for a jam space at uh, Laurier, remember? Yeah, was there was an old room, really, just uh, this locked up room, and somehow we discovered so it. So what happened was, you know, I don't know if you've, you, uh, you know Sandro Morrow? Yeah, of course, Sandro, the, right. the, the chef guy. Yeah, so he started the Kenya School Rock back in the day, okay. like, 20, like 2009, 2010. And they were shopping around, like, uh, it was like a big battle of the bands, but like... Uh, all, all the, the high schools, yeah. All okay. the oh, yeah, yeah. And... Uh, Laurier was one of the schools chosen, and like we were like the band that Laurier, me, Kevin LaPalermo, who I just said, and uh, a couple other guys. And uh, we're like, look, if you want to rep us to represent your, your school, like we need to jam somewhere. Yeah. Like give us a jam space in the school. Yeah, sure. you guys got so many like unused classrooms or like <laughs> spaces. So we, we kind of wiggled our way in there, and eventually we landed on this like mini classroom, like at the corner, uh, <laughs> like near the gymnasium, and like we had like our own had like in in the school, yeah. school. Oh, we'd stay there that. like after after hours to like six every day just jamming wow yeah. that's pretty cool yeah but what's also cool is that it allowed other people to become part of like this new not culture but like this new thing that had yeah. come out of this of the high school you know like having this room to go and play music whether you were in a band or not you gave like an outlet for people to go and play music Absolutely. in the school which was really nice too. Yeah. So more bands ended up coming out from just starting with the one band yeah. and Kenya School Rock. We ended up being like a couple of bands in there that uh, were still yeah. like pretty we much had, friends we with We had everyone. kids from like, uh, some guys from like VMC who were like in bands with people from Laurie and some of our friends and like it just... That's really cool. Stuff was just like happening and like it was just creating like this cool little niche. Like, a little... Uh, yeah. Around, that's like, amazing. Yeah. Yeah. That's what they... Yeah. That's why they called me because they, they lost that. So they needed a program. And it's two years. I do VMC as well. I have a VMC. And, oh, nice. And Laurie has one as well. I, I don't do it, but Laurie has one as well. And it's, thank God, because there's no more music. Yeah, yeah. Like, you used to have like Battle of the Bands and stuff. Yeah. My first show ever was VMC Battle of the Bands. Me too, actually. Like two, yeah, you were yeah. playing with, you, with uh, Clearview? Yeah, with Clearview, yeah. And his old wow. Band. You know, it's funny. I, I had We didn't have Battle of the Bands, but we kind of did. Like it was a... It was a show that we did at school. I went to Loyola High School, right? Okay. And it was a show, and it wasn't bad. Like, there was no winner, but, you know, everyone wanted to show. Yeah. Yeah. Band, right? And you yeah. know what my competition was? No fair, I had no chance. Sam Roberts. <laughs> oh, my God. I went to God. high school with him. Wow. And I was like, how the fuck you want me to compete with this guy? He's fucking all over the world, man. He's so, very anyway, cool. Yeah. <laughs> He's great. And the whole yeah. band is still guys that I went to high school with. Wow. Yeah, awesome. Really, really cool. Like really cool. We're involved. Good people. Go. Yeah, yeah like, man. It's really, really cool. <laughs> 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 it's, 
was like, all right, come I'm on. Well, you know, the Van Halen tribute won't work. Out, right? anyway. uh, okay, so Housefly Hum, did it start as all original stuff? I would imagine that's that's your. That was definitely the goal for sure. Yeah, the goal is all yeah, is yeah. original yeah. music. It's all original yeah. stuff. Uh, we did, like I said, we we do covers pretty well, so that's always something fun that we like to do. Uh, but it's all original stuff. That's the main focus of yeah. this: is to be 100% original music and uh, absolutely, and try to put out as much quality stuff as possible. For sure. And yeah. so, did you put out like a, what? What have you put out up to now? Like, is it a couple of EPs? Up, up to now, um, we have uh, we started with a, a single. So, like, we didn't have a drummer, so we just ended up releasing an acoustic single called Driftwood. Okay, cool. And. Uh, you know, like I literally like played the cajon on it and like, love it. you know, it, yeah. it ended up working out. It's like, yeah. it was a really fun song. But uh, after that, so then we got uh, a batch of songs and we got Adam to play the drums. Yeah. And then that was our first so, EP called Morning Light. Morning Light, yeah. Uh, and then after that, we released two, uh, two songs as like a, a single. No, we really, sorry, It's All Better. Yeah, yeah. One single. And so like, you know how it is now. It's like, Single, single, singles yeah, are, are like, yeah. Are, then, if once like you release thing, eight no. of them if, or five, you say, Oh, let's make it an EP. Yeah, yeah exactly. exactly. You're lucky exactly. if you have someone's attention span for like yeah. more than three songs, you know what I mean? Absolutely, so, yeah. It's hard to get people to listen to albums, yeah. so you see people doing a lot of like waterfall releases and like every you know, every month a song comes out, or every it's better song. to have more content than just well, that's one it. at a time, yeah. yeah, than wait a year and a half. We used to wait when a band said. You know, we're recording. It was like we literally waited back in my day. It was album by album, right. and it was like you know two years, two yeah, and a half yeah, years. For sure. And then the lineup for would sure. start at HMV when you know yeah. the day was coming out. <laughs> yeah, 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 One yeah. and two came out. It was yeah. like the, the lineup. Same. You had to wait hours. You had to sleep there imagine. to just to buy the album. Yeah. You know, that's, that's pretty the, cool. Though. Yeah, but yeah, we that's waited cool. for that's years, pretty... cool, right? Cause, yeah. Because uh, Sweet Child of Mine, that all came out, Appetite for Destruction came out, and it was so good yeah. that, like, the anticipation yeah, the of what's coming was, like, yeah. what, what's happening? But, yeah, yeah, man, yeah. It, uh, it was yeah. not easy to get. For Nowadays, for sure. everyone's, like, instantly yeah. streaming on, on your yeah. phone, so it's, it's a different culture, for sure, and, like, the way people listen to music. But uh, also the fact that, like, you know, I wish I could, I, I could do music, like, full-time and just, you know, focus on writing, recording it. We all have full-time jobs, unfortunately, to finance, you know, yeah. things we really want to do, which is playing music and writing Absolutely. songs and recording. So that obviously delays the process of, of yeah. you know, getting stuff yeah. out, which is unfortunate. But at the same time, it's like, you know, I went to school for audio engineering and it's like... Oh, really? Where'd you go? Uh, Concordia. Oh, okay. Amazing. Yeah. So, so it's like we have like a nice studio slash rehearsal space. Mm -hmm. I have all the mics, all the gear. It's like... Why wouldn't we do it ourselves? Yeah, you know absolutely. What I mean? Yeah, yeah. So now we're working, especially course, when everything's yeah. super expensive nowadays. And uh, yeah. so now we have three songs in the work. Okay. Cool. Three songs in the work, uh, and it's all being done by us in our pad slash studio. Yeah. And vocals and everything are being done at uh, Dom's house because yeah, we're the set up so. at my home studio. Cool. But um, yeah, well, we recorded, so we have like uh, you know seven or eight songs in the bank. Yeah. that we plan to release sure. uh, one every couple of months kind of yeah thing. you know when whenever are you another videos one's... as well are you looking to do a video with any of the songs yeah we'd like I mean video content He's definitely is, spoken about it for sure it's mm -hmm. you know vertical video content is like dominating now right like yeah. reels and all that so yes there's there's plans to to create content the, the problem is like you know you invest three thousand dollars in like a music video and you barely get any views <laughs> on it you're like wow i probably should have spent that money on like i don't know t-shirts or something t something yeah, it's so yeah. something that could have given me like more of a return right the streaming is amazing on one hand as a consumer yeah but it killed guys like us that yeah, yeah. Right. back in the day like i said two years you you took a year off your life and you recorded an album with that album you release it but you make money. Any sale, you make money. Yeah. So, you know, when you're at that place, you're because that's the only way you hear it. Yeah. Right? Otherwise, on the radio, you kind of like hope to record it. Yeah. So you, right. And you tour, which is good because you're touring and you're promoting. People go to your show, and they like it, they go buy the album. So you're making money. Whereas now you're making nothing on what you release and you got to tour. But the thing is, 
to tour, it costs you too much. Yeah. Yeah, you're lucky if you break even. And you're Especially really lucky. If you're and really you lucky. know what? The other way yeah. you would tour, people buy your album, so there's money coming in, yeah. and you're ready as a band. You're playing. You just did 30 shows. Yeah. You know, the fuck you guys played well. Now it's like you gotta wait for that one opportunity to play, or yeah, you have to hope that you're pay cut to yeah. exactly tour and, and cross your fingers. You know, and it's 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 unfortunate because it hurt us because yeah. we're not making money where we could you know mm -hmm. video has to you got to give it for free like it's uh, yeah hey, hey, but it costs you like video. Yeah, yeah, and you have right. to hope that your streams hit so you can get those shows yeah you know yeah but um, how do you make the money to because uh, let's face it the guys who hit the streams yeah there are yes there are the stories of the one guy who was discovered yeah and he got nine yeah. million streams yeah. Yeah. <laughs> one in a billion get discovered because yeah. there's like like that guy there's another million that yeah. did the same mm -hmm. thing so how do you get the money to promote it, to market it, to That's fucking good. even just boost it? Yeah, <laughs> yeah right. Yeah, you could yeah. vote twenty bucks. Yeah, it gets you, you know, three hundred more people to see it. Right. But yeah. you gotta invest serious coin to make it be seen. Yeah. yeah. And, and, and not only that, you gotta know what promotional, you know, outlets are bullshit and what what's 100%. you know. There's organic, and then there's like all those stupid bot stream shit, and it's like it's terrible. Now it inflates obviously. your numbers temporarily, and then it just deflates. And, and it's fake. It's so fake. Yeah. I find and what does it really give you? You know, with the podcast, people send on Spotify. Thing. I don't know. Man. It's the same thing with the pod. Like I, I we don't do anything fake. I'm like, I, a, I don't have the time to even look into what it takes to do it, and I don't. I yeah, don't want I know to. for sure. Even if we get 200 views, though, I do know for a fact that there are people whoever watches, they watch the whole thing. That's authentic. And that's reason. and and I know that they're authentic. Even if it's a hundred, to me, you know, marketing in this day and age, mm -hmm. if a hundred people see. Yeah, I my product that's that they actually watch yeah, yeah. They, watch, they didn't for just sure. watch eight for seconds sure. of it to me it's amazing right yeah. for sure. uh because the fake stuff is so easy it's so easy it's so you know, yeah. we, i know one one person that did a post and got you know comments and likes and this and that and then the you know an, an episode it wasn't on this podcast but it was another podcast and the episode aired and no one watched it i was like how, how did the advertisement mm -hmm. get you know, it's the click bait. Yeah. It. yeah. And the views, how, how is it that no one watched it mm. from the 8,000 people that love you? They're not going to watch. That's it. Like, it's, it's like, okay, anyway, if you want to do that, it's mm. fine. But yeah. yeah. And no, it's like, as a band, like, the bare minimum that you want to be doing is like posting on social media every day. Yeah. And it's like, you it's know, a lot of all, mostly all of us, like, just hate doing that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, who, who has the time to really be on top of that? Thing? It's, it's another job. It's, you got to hire. I mean, literally, it's another job. You could do it yourselves, but yeah, it's it's another job. But not yeah, only that, man. it's like you're fighting all these different algorithms and all these platforms, and it's which you'll never figure out. Yeah, I and mean, it gets you motivating. motivating. You're just like, you know what? Here's like a freaking video of me, like playing 30 seconds of this song. If it hits, it hits. You know? Yeah, that's and that's why. basically what it is now, right? That's, yeah. yeah. So that's what's... why you just have to come to our live shows. And get your minds blown, <laughs> and that's all it There's takes. There's fucking nothing like live shows. There's nothing yeah, like live shows. It, it, and, and for the audience and for the band, there's nothing like it. There's nothing like it. You they, can advertise all you want, but once yeah. you're there in person... And you know what? A lot of the... Actually, part of the problem is there are so many people that are good in marketing and social media. Yeah. But that's what they're good at. And then when you actually see the <laughs> show, it's like... I, okay. thought that, I thought <laughs> she or he was a fucking yeah. goddess from yeah. that 20 second clip. Yeah. You can't sing four songs in a row. You're, yeah. You know what I mean? It's like, okay, so it, it, it doesn't show the actual artist. Definitely. Because they're just so good at that angle and they yeah. look good and yeah. they can sing for 30 seconds. But when you do an hour and a half and you're yeah. running around yeah. and now you're out of tune because you're not used to doing that, like, oh, okay. We're no. kind of yeah, the what's opposite going on? where we're like, we won't post for like three months, but then we'll play like two hours, no problem. <laughs> you guys are awesome. You guys sound really good i really like thank, the, the thank vibe. you thank what you what style do you what style would you put it under like class not classic rock but like <sighs> hard rock is it more i was fine like i found it melodic to be yeah. quite fair yeah. it's very melodic rock like yeah, melodic. there's yeah. like indie feels to it but yeah. it's, you know it's it's still we still get a lot of influences like you know we grew up listening to classic rock you know so okay but we understand that classic rock had its moment and we don't want to you know copy paste it we just want to give a fresh yeah look to it so there is that kind of like alternative you know mm -hmm. indie, definitely like a more okay. modern twist you know so okay cool. but really we don't know if really think of it that way i feel like we just try to be authentic we just have a definitely a rock foundation yeah so. for 
sure. Like I, I personally, I feel like that's the hardest question for me to answer because like as a songwriter, it's hard to like compartmentalize your ideas and be like, Oh, I am writing, you know, this specific type of rock music. I mean, it's mm. like, I just pick up a guitar. Oh, this riff sounds cool. Let me yeah. bring it to the guys, whatever ends up, you know, building off of that. It is what it is. Maybe yeah. one sounds more, uh, Ballady, maybe one sounds more hard rock, maybe one sounds more bluesy, and it's just like we don't really want to limit ourselves in terms of like boxing ourselves into one specific genre under like the rock umbrella because obviously guitar, bass, drums, vocals like we yeah. hit we hit a bit hard and it has a rock feel definitely, but yeah, there's there's elements of, of you know classic rock, blues, jazz. There's some hip hop influences because we all listen to hip hop too. Oh, cool! Yeah. There's a lot of indie stuff. Yeah, a lot of stuff I'm listening to right now has like nothing to do with our yeah. music. <laughs> yeah, that's it's great, a, but it gives inspiration. Yeah, of course, yeah, everything yeah, definitely. seeps into your brain a little bit. You know, so. those are the best. Yeah, when yeah, you're yeah a melting pot of everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's really cool. I got a question for you. Yeah, you're the last to join the band. Yeah. Um, so when you came into the band mm -hmm. as a drummer, how did you how did you see the band? Did you uh, like you know, obviously they need a drummer. They yeah. kind of, I don't want to say auditioned you, but, you know, they came and they, they looked, you know, the guy can play. Oh, we auditioned them. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, I got it. <laughs> did you audition them? Like, did you say, hmm, you know? That's yeah. a good question. Why? I'm curious. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know, right? Do tell. <laughs> yeah. Enlighten us. I wanted to see if they were pieces of shit. <laughs> <laughs> but, they're, but they're not. <laughs> they're not. Looking for the red flags. <laughs> yeah, I was looking. No, that, I just noticed that they're, well, first, like, I, as people, they're all really sweet and uh, making me feel comfortable too, because like they that's all know each other for all. Right? Yeah, that's kind of tough to just walk in. Yeah, like inside jokes, and you're just yeah. like, I don't know what you mean. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah, well, as people, yeah, they're super sweet and uh, brought me in like with open arms. And uh, as musicians, like I I've known Don for a while through. Uh, through the guy that used to teach me drums, shout out Kevin. And uh, I knew how talented he was and I, I didn't know uh, Larry. I think I've heard Larry like through some of his clips with the Grove right. and uh, I, I loved his voice right away and just showing people. I'm like, look at this. And, this. <laughs> and, uh, and Mike too, he's so great. They're, they're all just super talented and I find we all mesh well together. The vibe is yeah, good. Yeah, the vibe, the vibe is, is really good. fast. Yeah, vibe yeah, yeah. yeah. See, after the first John, we're like, yeah, we knew. Yeah, yeah. yeah, we have That's to bring it. Yeah. It's yeah. honestly yeah. the hard part is like, okay, half of it is like, can this guy play, right? Is he yeah. good? Is he shit? You know. But even if even if he's good, if he doesn't gel with within the family vibe of the band, it's yeah. like you're out, dude. Like yeah, yeah. yeah. If you can't chill with us, if, if, if you make not me that, nervous with a yeah, conversation, yeah, 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 yeah. If you're not it's fitting important. in, like, it's like, very important. Yeah. So we. Yeah. There, there's been definitely that that's that's a big factor too because like you know like we've even discussed like oh should we add like uh keyboards or this and that but it's mm -hmm. like okay you know we may know people who play keys but like you know that guy's a complete nerd and he's like yeah all the way there and it's, it's like so many factors it's like because you, know? you can get the best player if yeah. it doesn't vibe, if it doesn't gel. It won't yeah. work. It won't work. It yeah. won't work. Yeah, you got to be one of us. Yeah, you don't want to force it. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, uh, and you know what's funny? Van Halen, that was part of it, right? I saw the tour where um, Sammy Hager came back and they didn't gel because this was it's like Sammy Hager didn't want to really do it. He signed the contract and then he noticed that Eddie was fucking in another world. I want out and they forced him to do it. And I was at that show okay. in Montreal and I saw it instantly. Like, like they don't Yeah, you could see it on stage sometimes. They don't want to be there. Yeah, like, yeah. This is like, they're there, they're forced to be there. I totally don't feel any of this. Yeah. Yeah. This is the yeah. guy I looked up to yeah. my whole life. Right, you know? like, right. It's yeah. Eddie and it just... I saw it, you know? So it's, it's super important. It's important. So you pass the test. Yeah, yeah. yeah. pass the test. Uh, and I've been uh, riding their coattails ever since. It's <laughs> awesome. <laughs> right away, man. No, no, part of the no, game. No, no, <laughs> no, he, no. he killed it, man. Yeah, He's, yeah, uh, yeah. I, I think I sent him like three or four, maybe even five songs. I'm like, dude, learn whatever you can, even if it's one song, you know? I think he showed up and like he already he knew like, them. three songs. Yeah, like, he knew them. the details. And it was like, we're just like giant 
<laughs> All right, pretty yeah, good. But you don't want to make it obvious. Yeah. Yeah. I can buy him. As long as he's not like a complete <laughs> loser. <laughs> sometimes we get so excited that we don't even do the the chat. Like sometimes musically, someone will blow you away. Yeah. And like you don't do the conversation chat. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. then you learn like two months later, like oh, ah shit. shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, man, that sucks. But anyways. Guys, how about we hear a little, yeah, a little sure. sample, man? Sure. How about uh, yeah. a little, you know, I say we cheers to that while you get ready. Uh, well, <laughs> sure. I mean, got a drink and then, and then yeah. I mean, we need uh, a top-up, though. Oh, you guys need top-ups. We yeah, need top-ups, right? top top-ups. Yeah. We're rock and roll, man. This will make <laughs> me play better. This, uh, here. I'm but, not uh, <laughs> <laughs> here, guys, I passed the bottle. Thanks. Oh, yeah. Go ahead. Yeah, You're good. 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 That's in, uh... Nothing better than tequila on a Wednesday. You know, tequila is made for Wednesdays. Yeah, I think it says that in the back. <laughs> I think it's, it's like, absolutely. I read it somewhere. This, it's the fine print. <laughs> it used to be for Tuesdays, right? Tequila. Well, Tuesday. you know, you got a tequila. Yeah, oh yeah, listen. you're right. A tequila Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> Don't matter. Yeah, you're not confused. Whatever. Don't My matter. calendar said Tuesday. Cheers, guys. Cheers. 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 The house fly hop. Huh? Cheers. Thank to you. you, man. Yeah, thanks for having thanks us again. Pleasure's all mine. All right. So what are we playing here? What are we doing? <coughs> so we figured we'd play one of the songs that we're going to release. Sure. So it's an unreleased song. Amazing. But if you've been to our shows, you've heard this song. We've played it live. We played it at Ital Fest, so maybe you mm -hmm. you'll recognize it too. But it's called Sharp Razors, and uh, not written not too long ago. Mike had come up with uh, foundation. Uh, the foundation, and we all sort of. Um, mm -hmm. It's a rock song, and you're doing it acoustic. So this is not. Well, actually. it it, it came to the table as an acoustic song. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. It's yeah. Cool. like it's a yeah. bedroom yeah. jam kind of situation. Yeah. Cool, man. So. All right. Yeah. Yeah, and then we kind of like adapted it with drums and a little bit of electrical guitar, but it's the origin of it is acoustic. Yeah. Yeah, one of the softer, cleaner songs, I guess. You know. So yeah, let's do it. Let's do it.
Trying to find a different time of day But all the words they started to ring true As the tears start streaming down my face My face My face My face Do you ever feel you don't belong? I know it's not, it's not your fault Do you ever feel you're in the wrong? I know it's not, it's not your fault Do you ever feel you don't belong? You don't belong now, honey And I'm trying to That sounds fucking phenomenal. Man. Thank you, thank you. It's really good. So you came up with the foundation of that one. Yeah, I would say that. Yeah. You play guitar, I guess, as well. Yeah. Yeah, I wrote it on guitar. I, I at home I play more guitar than. Okay, cool. Bass. So you like the songwriting aspect that can. Yeah, be. for sure. I mean, you know, it's sometimes it depends. I mean, I'm very like flexible. You know, when he comes in with an idea, I just you know, we want to serve the song. We want to do which sounds the best, so you know, you try to leave your ego at the door, so whoever brings in the idea, we understand that, hey, we, we can make something really special right now, you know, like, and I just wrote the song, and he's like, dude, that's really good, I was like, it is, I was like, okay, like, let's go for it, <laughs> you know, like, uh, sometimes you just start playing, and yeah, something comes out, yeah, so. it's good today that we can record everything we play. Yeah, yeah, this, yeah think, it yeah, started off yeah. on my voice memo, you know. Like, when I was when I was a kid and I would fuck around on the piano or whatever, I would write. I get stuff. to remember. <laughs> I wouldn't fucking yeah. like how to record it was like a hell of a process, yeah, yeah, or I'd yeah. have to pay a thousand dollars an hour, you know. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like the best we could have done is buy those little tape recorders yeah. and press, you know. As like, but now it's like everything's fast and yeah. any idea you just record is pretty. Yeah. Oh, I have spoiled. like uh, over two hundred, if not more, of just voice memos yeah. of me right? humming things that I like become ideas, not ideas. I can't tell it. you how many times I would yeah. be in the car as a kid. Hey, that's a hell of a good lick. Hopefully, yeah. you remember it. I would say, okay, let me sing it twenty times and I'll remember it." <laughs> the next day, I, fuck nothing. Ah, shit. I know the word was there. I don't fucking know it anyway. Yeah. Hey, yeah. Dude, good, vo amazing Thank vocals. Thank you. Amazing. Thank you. So, Thank you. I, I hear you you're in your you're in your your voice and I feel like you're you're there and you're about to go into your head voice but you don't you go higher and I'm going into your head voice how the fuck <laughs> what's up with know. that man like, I don't know did you did you take like did you take lessons did not really you tell me no I'm gonna go Nothing. shit myself like, no. <laughs> no honestly uh, the first band that I was ever in I was actually just playing guitar and doing backups Okay. And then someone's like, oh, you know you're better than the actual Backups. singer. I was say, <laughs> Someone was like, you know you're actually better than the, I think it was more like, you know, young, yeah, confident, whatever. <laughs> yeah, and yeah. it was, actually it was. Uh, you're and probably dude, better. Yeah, and, uh, and that's how it actually started. Dom's like, look, our singer can't make this show. Come and learn our songs. Play this show for us. Sure. And I was like, are you sure? Because like, I'm singing, but I'm not singing. And then after, at the same time, I was actually singing for uh, Mike's band because Mike had a band. Okay. So I was not a singer, but being asked to sing in two different bands so, as the singer. So Mike's <laughs> band stole him from another band, and then I stole both of them. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. You're the master planner. You pulled that. <laughs> so that's how pretty much I came into singing. And you never took lessons. You just no. Just yeah. winging it. Yeah. Just yeah. Winging it. Yeah. yeah, I know, I know. Wow. I know, yeah. Wow, yeah. hats off because Thank that's, you. that's like... Thank you, and I fun. just... And I, not only... I mean, I've always loved music. You know, my uncle was always... Uh, has Was a musician. Uh, my dad has a musical bone in his body too. So I am, you know... My grandfather was playing La Fisa Monica. He knows like 80 songs, 100 songs. Really? Wow. So like my background was... 
I've always been intrigued and there was always music around me. To be a singer, that I would have never thought. Well, that's but, what I mean. Like, but, me too. Yeah. But yeah. I didn't, the fucking voice definitely didn't come. It's like, <laughs> no, no, no fuck yeah. that. you're not getting that. But yeah. because so. the voice is, it's like, you got to work it to get to where you're at. Like, it's not yeah. just a, yeah. you got to learn the way and, and uh, you got to wow, break through the levels yeah. of like, you know, well, no, I, voice. I know a lot of, I've worked with a lot of singers. They all like before a show, they're gonna go take a walk and oh, these fucking eggs are oh, these exercises. I'll do a little bit of that, but it's not like a necessity per se. What the fuck? Yeah. So just have a, yeah. a beer and a drink and that's <laughs> it, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, we do a and bit of warm ups. No, no, we do a bit of warm ups, sure. like no, especially it's when it's a bigger show, like I'll take, you know. But what also I find we do really well and we're really like serious about is that we were here when it's showtime we rehearse and rehearse and rehearse until i don't want to hear these songs anymore yeah. <laughs> you know and i find that really sets the bar for us and even after the show we're like hmm, i kind of missed that over there oh, yeah, you, you know and everyone's like oh that's so great and i'm like ah, we could have done certain things so i think that's something that really helps us to improve do you guys rehearse like once a week kind of thing? Yeah, yeah. very minimal. Yeah, once a week, but when it's uh, when we have a show, we'll try to even do almost three times a week. You know, really to. Okay. Yeah, to, because uh, you gotta you gotta the only time you have to perform it. Yeah. Especially when you're doing original stuff, you need to perform it. So it's yeah. gotta be in yeah. there where when you're at the gig, you're performing the song yeah, and absolutely. not playing it. For yeah, sure. Yeah, playing has it. to, that was done six months ago. Yeah. Now you're performing yeah. it. Now it, it's everything else. Yeah, you know? yeah. It's different when you're just, you know, standing straight and singing a song but when i'm on stage i like to move around i like yeah. to jump around so i gotta like kind of work up my cardio for that as well <laughs> yeah, while still like, hitting uh, the notes all at the same time so like, uh, uh, as we're approaching a show it's like we'll, we'll gradually go out of in years and like through the the pa and like stop sitting down and, and you know yeah. you gotta get like the like simulate a real yeah, yeah. I mean, like, you gotta like reactivate show mode you know what i mean yeah. and, and you know what as much as you do it, you still never get to the no, national no. show because there's so <laughs> many unknowns. Yeah, yeah. You oh, get, yeah, yeah. You got a bad sound, man. Forget it. You want to throw yourself up? You just want to go fucking yeah. kill yourself. I think you know, fifty percent of like the shows that I play, like something goes wrong on my pedal board. Oh, for sure. <laughs> like literally, oh, we yeah. play <laughs> we the, wedding. the wedding gig. <laughs> like yeah, everything. I, and and like I was like the 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 sound like the, the sound guy too, right? Yeah. And we brought like half the gear in our pad and like I'm setting up all the mics and the mix and that. I get to like, I'm like the last one to set up. Everything was good. And like my, you know, something's <laughs> exactly. like volumes like exactly. cut in half. Like you're like trying to tap different freaking pedals. Like where's the weak Which link? wire is that? Which one is it? Sometimes it's the power. You know what? Yeah. Experience. I've, yeah. like, I've it done. was the effects loop of the end. Oh, in the end, okay. Sometimes Imagine, it could be right. Some fucking random shit. Anyways, it fixed sometimes it. Sometimes the hall or the reception, wherever you're playing, there, you know, you plug in a two twenty pound. Sometimes the wires are reversed, mm. and that buzz is there every weekend, and no one says anything. No one does no, anything. They you're like, well, where the fuck is it coming from? Yeah. Ground lift this. Yeah. Ground lift my yeah. ass. Ground lift all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> it's always there. Oh, dude, we we played in like a converted church, like the reverb. Oh yeah. Where, what was the venue? Maison Prince. Maison Prince, a beautiful venue. Beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, yes. I'm just beautiful. there. Like that, that, beautiful. That, that venue, like, eats beautiful. drums for breakfast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, oh, yeah. Could, yeah. Cymbals, snare, or, like, forget it. Yeah, and we didn't have, like, that wall, you know, for the drums. The plexiglass? The plexiglass. Yeah. So. Yeah, there's some videos of, of us playing, and I'm like... Where are the drums? I don't <laughs> hear myself at all. <laughs> I'm like, I, but as long as that's not what they heard, yeah, yeah like they heard the drums. Yeah, we had so. to put them off to one side. Yeah, yeah. Is that, they have their in-house tech there, no? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah he was yeah. awesome. Yeah. He was, was awesome. Name? Francois. I had Francois. Shout out Francois. Yeah. Francois. Yeah. Francois. Yeah. Francois. Yeah. Shout out Francois. If you're watching yeah. this, you're yeah. watching yeah. this <laughs> the, I was literally you could be a roadie for all our shows. You were great. I had a lot people there. About wow. a month ago. I had a event, like a, a corporate party cool. at Maison Principale with Francois yeah. doing sound, but we have our we have a tech that, tech that comes with us okay. everywhere. Right. Francois and was he great. He did our though. monitors because the, there the monitors are a fucking. Oh, dude, it's not his fault. It's a nightmare. But we're all in here, so. Oh, okay. so we, we had rock floor monitors and stuff. It was, yeah. Yeah, cool, man. It's not it's, ideal, yeah. but we got through it. Then we got through it. We were very nervous, honestly, because it's, you know. Well, the it's first dance song was very nerve-wracking. Yeah. Absolutely. We're not used to doing that, right? We're used yeah. to us being the performer. Yeah. So, like, we control our songs. We kind of have a little bit more control. But when it's bride and groom, 
in the middle of the dance floor yeah. and they're like you got to sing their first song they're like yeah it's like and you know like nothing and else nothing matters, else matters like, so i'm alone for like a minute and a half right so i'm just like if i hit one wrong note it's over I'm ruining this entire like fucking night yeah, you get used to it though yeah, don't worry about I, it you get used to it when, it, when the time comes uh, I'm, yeah, I'm like yeah. laser beam focused I, pl- I play in a corporate wedding band so yeah, you're, I mean, you play with Soul Station I play with Soul Station right. yeah, yeah, so yeah, that's yeah. how you so, with Dan right? yeah with Dan and that's how I, I know I play with a bunch of different bands but that band we do a lot of that right. opening yeah. songs yeah. And yeah. And so once you get through stuff, it you're like yeah, ah, right, just right. another day Smile, but, but a lot of that is like no clue as nervous as you can be whenever you play a show it's like as soon as you see the crowd giving you back some sort of energy right there out the window out Any the window nerves, yeah it goes it's straight out first, the window and you're just having fun it's as the song starts and that dun, 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 and you're like first like three this? people starts dancing and you're just like okay let's yeah. the minute yeah. one person goes woo, you know and then you're like okay i'm good yeah. Yeah. we're good we let's got go. it let's go but like we were like smashing like 90s bangers right so we got the whole place like yeah. jumping so fun and like the DJ didn't even match our level of like, <laughs> crowd interaction, yeah. right? Yeah. I even spoke to him, my friend a couple of, a couple of days ago, and he's like, "Dude, like, they forgot it was my wedding." So it's like <laughs> they're just yeah. saying how oh, oh, sick the band was. That's you know? really fun. Man. That's yeah. Cool. And it was different also for the guests there, right? Exactly. How many weddings you go to that? Like, yeah, you know, you have your wedding band, but it's a whole night thing, which is yeah. super nice too. This was like flash in the pan you know well, half an hour cool in out yeah. and you're just like did we just were we just at a concert yeah. that was cool. yeah. i, I do know? it all the time it's yeah. the same repertoire that yeah. all the bands do yeah 80 percent of the same stuff you know we're gonna do september we're yeah, do all yeah. That, you know yeah we're big we're big we like we have horns and all that yeah and yeah but it's a great our you show guys is do too. so fun yeah but but it is like you said and, and i get it it's it's the same every wedding. Yeah. People don't have weddings every weekend, no. so it, it works out. It, yeah. yeah. You want to make it a special occasion. But when you get there and there's a fucking kick-ass rock band, it's like, oh, what a twist. It's, it's just, yeah, it's exactly, right? And but the DJ's almost... going to kick in later, and yeah. you're going to hear, it. you know, whatever. Uh, the usual. Fucking, the usual. <laughs> September's going to come on, yeah. you know. But when you have that rock band opening up your, you know, nothing beats an opening dance no. with a live band yeah. and a vocal kicking and that guitar, you know, the yeah. sound yeah, of beautiful. everything, the drum yeah. smashing, nothing beats that. Man. And yeah. like going back to the, you know, when, when Showtime, we kick up the rehearsals. Well, we actually brought in one of our, our good friends on rhythm guitar. So Mike actually plays Shout in Shout out to Yeah. T. Joe. <laughs> Mike actually plays in a, another punk band called Walk Karma. And okay. uh, one of our good buddies on... on uh, on guitar as uh, Steven and we we got him in I'm like dude come and play like rhythm guitar because we're playing all these covers I'm the only guitarist like you know I need that sounds backup. a bit empty sounds a bit empty sometimes yeah, one guitar leads or different old, you know little lead lines so we really like rehearsed even I'd say we rehearsed even harder than for, yeah. like an original set show because the original is like We've been playing them for years. You write it's the like, songs. You, you know, write the years. songs. You know what you shed the rust. Like, like one people or two like, times oh, times you have a good. wedding band. It's like, oh, they're not really a wedding band, so they're like, is this gonna go well? Like, you know, no one knows who <laughs> yeah. we are. Like, That's so, it. so, so, and we're, we're our hardest critic too. So we, we are, like, we, we have are. to Definitely. nail this. Yeah, we're we just generally. have to get the first song, and then we got well, everyone. Well, plus when you're doing covers, it's like original is one thing that you you know you write your capability. Yeah, you write what you like and all of that stuff. You know, if you're fucking emulating a, a killer band, yeah. you know, uh, it, you can't, you know, as a fan of a band, you know how the songs sound. You, gotta yeah. you know the words. Yeah. You know the words. You, you know, know everything. All of it. Yeah. You know the licks. That's it. And if, you know, if they're hard to play. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> well, well, we try to take consideration, all. like, the level of difficulty. But you still have to remember the structure, when to pause, when to go. Yeah, 100%. You know, we played the Mr. Brightside and that guitar oh, intro. Dude, almost, he was playing uh, and sitting down the whole time. He's like, man, I think I need to stand up because I, don't, I have like, to make okay, sure. I- like, you know, his voice, like, it's going to work. And then I, like, look up how to play this fucking thing. And the guy's like, <laughs> like, you... His fingers are like freaking crossed. Right? And I'm like, how am I gonna play this live? Like, I, yeah. I, I, I did it. And like, you did it. And you do it. You find the way. Yeah. Did, it's did my it's fingers it's like fun. hurt after? Yeah. It is. <laughs> it. Yes. You know, you know, we play a song more than words uh, from Extreme. Right. It's an acoustic ballad. Right. Such right, a good right. Song. It's great a great song. song. Yeah, and we do it. It's our first song of the night. Well, this season. Every season we change, but this cool. season now. But emulate Nuno. Nuno Betancourt. When he put, it's like what he's a savage. Fuck, yeah. <laughs> he's a the savage. poor guitar. Okay, we're gonna do that song, and he's like, yeah, okay. And he goes and listen to it. What the fuck, what man? What the fuck's going on here? You know? So that's it. It's also like you, 
you know, you're, you're playing within the limits of what, you know, the guys you have with you, your sound. It's, you know, sometimes it's like you're, you get a request or something and it's, you kind of have to recompose the song for your for band. For your band, right? Absolutely. So we played like uh, Shout, right? Yeah. 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 Big yeah. band yeah. sound, but it's like, you know, we had to punk rock it a bit, yeah. you know? Perfect. Exactly. But that's what, that, those are the bands that are successful. The, you make, you take it, yeah. you keep what's important, you make it your own. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's got to be a house fly hum. That's feel. what it was. Yeah. So if you're gonna do their feel, it's not gonna be no, their feel. No, no. You're never gonna get it yeah. because it's not. You're yeah. not them. You're for sure. Home, so. If you wanted exactly them, just ask the DJ to play exactly, it. Exactly. And there you go. Exactly. You're not gonna ask a band to play to sound exactly like I don't know Stevie Wonder. Well, it's not gonna happen. You know. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Right. <laughs> but let me play higher ground the way I want to play yeah, it. Yeah. Exactly. And trust me, it'll sound yeah, good. And yeah. that's what we try and do. That like every show that we play, we're like, oh, maybe you know, you you want to play like a cover just to familiarize to catch someone's ear in the crowd that maybe doesn't know your music but oh you, they'll you'll suck them in with that one cover that's you know yeah. millions of people know but now you're playing it like your your own way and you leave that mark on them and just from that cover they'll go and look up your music right and it's super important yeah it's super important so, you know how many guys have cover bands to fund their yeah oh i could just imagine oh we were talking <laughs> well that's it I mean, after, after the wedding, we did the we're, wedding like, we're like oh, no do we just do this for like three <laughs> not months. for anything <laughs> are we a wedding band also because so? because we used to you know like in the time where we didn't have ray in the band we, we didn't even do, have mike at, at a certain point but then mike even came to the phone and we were doing like cocktail gigs like uh wedding gigs sure, but like yeah. at the cocktail yeah, you know, we even played like um, while someone was like getting married, like walking down the aisle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? And just these different like scenarios where you have to adjust to. And like it's cool because it challenges you as a musician to like adapt to certain Every scenarios, day. you know, like, oh, this, this, this vibe will work, but in this scenario. So that also improves your ability to sort of. Um, Adapt, Ad yeah. adapt. But I'm, adapting. I'm saying, uh, what's the word? I'm like, like curate a play, yeah. uh, a playlist or like yeah. a set list. Sure. It curates your your ear to like go and hunt for a song that oh, you know what this this vibe we can definitely pivot it and make it like housefly hum compatible. Yeah. You know what I mean, and, and then we're gonna slap it live. You know. Sure. Absolutely. You know. You know how many? I mean, even just doing this the circuit in in Montreal with you know the the the, the Mickey Vince Bobs and all these places. You get your playing covers, but a lot of the guys, I don't know, and you guys should consider, I don't know if you do it already, but consider putting a set list with, you know, 80% covers, 20%. Yeah. Once yeah, you yeah. got the crowd here, hey, yeah. this is our song. They fucking listen. Yeah. 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 They yeah, listen. Once, once we played, um, we played uh, Brutopia. With Shane Murphy. Okay, with Shane. Shane yeah, there you go. Yeah, Shane, I've known him for a while. And like, I wanted, you know, I used to go to Brutopia a lot to catch his sets. And one day I was just like, Shane, but, uh, you know, you played three sets. Can, <laughs> can you share? Yeah. Can I think like the middle <laughs> set, like, would you be down? Sure, yeah. And he's like, fuck yeah, man. give me a break. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. So we got up, we got up and we fucking ripped a, like, you know, half cover set, half Amazing. originals. And Amazing. It's fun. It's yeah. a lot of fun. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. Yeah. I mean, and you learn a lot from covers. You learn a lot from covers, too. Yeah. And, and, and it's and different. It pays. It's, it pays the bills. It pays, it pays, it pays yeah, the bills. bills. It pays you the know, bills. I don't even remember if we got paid or not. I didn't care. Just to play there and, and have Shane like uh, sure, there. Yeah. It was cool. Well, we'll get the good. call right from but Shane. But it, it's a different vibe like playing in a venue that sells, you know, alcohol, whatever people are drinking. But it's a different vibe when you go to a pub where people aren't going there for you. They're going yeah. there to drink. But then you're it's there like, and then, you know, they're a bit more wasted yeah. and having fun and <laughs> yeah. dancing. Like it's, 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 it's a really it's, fun vibe. You know what? I know, I know you, you guys would smoke. Yeah. Playing stuff like uh, Archibald, and there's there's a, quite a few venues, and they pay, you know, so it could yeah. fund the, the yeah the, the, a tour or something. That's what we've been wanting to do for a long time. Video, whatever, you know, wanting to do a tour for a long time. You you find a way to incorporate your originals because that's yeah. the most important part. Yeah. So you you know, it's, yeah, uh, yeah it fills up the, the set too, right? Yeah, it's and it's fun. It ends up being yeah. it's fun. I yeah. think that the hard part for us is is like remembering. The covers that we do, you know what I mean? Because you, like, you know the damn truth, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, I'm in Astral Gates too. Dave's my drummer in that band, so. Oh yeah, that's right. You play with that. Okay, yeah, there yeah. you go. Yes, yes. So, so yeah. I mean, they're amazing, uh, and and their their original stuff. I fucking love it. It's really good stuff. And Tom and Lila are always. Tom and Lila are always playing. You know, they they play everywhere. 
everywhere. Yeah. And they're great. Yeah, they're, they're great. great. They're yeah. amazing at anything they do. And they're ready for anything, you know. That's it. Uh, but, no, amazing. I th- you guys are super talented. I think you guys have the, 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 the potential to really take it to a whatever level you want because you guys know what you want you know you yeah. like it yeah you enjoy Thank it you. and that's that's what it's that's, that's what, it's, what about. it's all about man. You know, as long as you're having fun with it and it doesn't Absolutely. start feeling like an obligation or like a chore you yeah. know what i mean like it's music will never be a chore no, no you, never you, you know you don't want to <laughs> you don't want to get to that point where like yeah. oh, i have to go like yeah. And now I'm tired. I want to go jam. <laughs> yeah, that's... I mean, it's like every, every time we jam, it's it's like the highlight of my week. Almost like it, yeah. I'm roaring to go and like because yeah. bla- I can't blast my tube band at home. You know what I mean? So that too, it's like you know, he doesn't have it, he shit? doesn't yeah. have this drum set. Yeah, I have an electric so. kick. I'm just like okay, I want to. Do you this. practice with the electric? Yeah, kick? I practice, but okay. uh, like I do when I get to play on the acoustic. Oh, okay, it's such a, yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah. I was like. <gasps> Yeah, 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 yeah. I play drum. I play drums as well. Yeah, and, and and fucking electric is like fun to practice. Yeah, with, man. Yeah, yeah it's a different uh, world. Kill me, just shoot yeah. me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just to keep your life rested. Well, the same with guitar too. Now there's like a bunch of like amp simulators, yeah. which I, I you know I use at home occasionally, but you know uh, the acoustics right there. I'm just gonna freaking grab it and you know uh, yeah. I feel like writing something. I'll go on that instead of. Plugging in, wearing headphones, and all that. So. Do you guys have any shows lined up coming up? So right now we we don't. I'm I'm kind of working on like maybe trying to get a like an unplugged sort of cafe vibe because I feel like we've never done that before. Sure, yeah. So like maybe like the vibe you just heard, but plus like another acoustic, maybe a cajon, cajon some, yeah. some percussions and stuff. Uh, you, maybe you it, just get a bass in there, just to, yeah. yeah. Just Could be all, electric. It's it's, it's totally yeah, for sure. yeah, for sure. For sure, but uh, for for the remainder of the year and maybe like uh, throughout throughout the holidays in January, we're really gonna focus on uh, finishing up like studio Finish stuff, out these songs, yeah. get new songs out because it's. So when's the next song coming out? That's there's no question. there's no real there's date. No date. Again, yeah. like I'm the one like sort of mixing everything and like pushing it forward, so it's it's kind of like on my sch- <laughs> on my <laughs> schedule, you know. I'm, it's it's getting there. It's getting yeah. there. I I would like to say maybe like uh, early next year, like I'm aiming for yeah, like February so. sort of. I think I think a lot of people are distracted during the holidays, so I won't really like. Yeah, it's it. not a, it's yeah. it's not really a great time like December or January. Like gotta make everyone do their their thing. Recover. Unless we release a Christmas song. Yeah, we, <laughs> we, did, we did that once. So we did. A Christmas cover that was really cool. We yeah, did, like, we an did. Elvis cover. That's pretty cool. That's yeah. part of your social media. Do a little. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, 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 that's yeah. it. Yeah. But it's like you know, you want to be doing the yeah the doing meat and potatoes stuff. of yeah. what, what you really yeah. uh, want to get out there. But uh, no, so we're aiming for like uh, early part of next year for the uh, yeah. In the new year, song. you'll have some new music from us for Definitely. sure. Okay, I mean, for sure. I will say because I said it before, but I didn't say it on camera and. Um, usually Francesca is is part of our team right. with the podcast, and she hired you guys for Etop Fest. Yeah, exactly. And I saw her. Was it last week, uh, Lisa? Yeah, I think so. Last week, and yeah, I said Housewife Hum is coming, and she was like, "Oh my God, they blew us away." <laughs> so the girl who hired you was extremely happy with you guys, and she said everyone loved you guys. So yeah. hats off because thank you, thank you. Yes, it was, it it was also, a great lineup. Thank you. It was a yeah. lot of good bands, yeah, and, and you guys stood out. Yeah. So that's, that's and it was a really fun event. Really fun event. Yeah. Yeah. Being downtown too was really cool. That was uh, uh, that was fun. Yeah. So it was it was really fun and. Hopefully we get invited next year because I'd be looking forward. It to was it. A, it was yeah. a good vibe. Also, yeah. the guys that were there, like uh, just hanging out there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was like, oh, I don't want to go play. I just yeah. 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 Did you see Mimo? Mimo was you know yeah. Mimo Oliver. Yeah, he played with well, uh, Mimo. Uh, actually, he, came, yeah. he did the he did the yeah, song. Yeah, we did an ACDC. Uh, we guy. did Who Made Who, and it was really fun. <laughs> that guy. He kills it, bro. He's, he's a riot. <laughs> he's. I could just sit. He's a riot. Yeah. I could just sit. if I have one drink, forget it. I'll be. I'll play all night with him. <laughs> so, so where we rehearse, what we, I also rehearse with Astral Gates. Like we're all part of the same yeah, same space. family. Okay. And like we, uh, you know, we're gonna cover that ACDC song, and we're just like, so are we, is Nemo coming? Like, are we getting it? I think he came for like one jam, like showed up, killed it, like one <laughs> home. We're like, was that even necessary? This guy's, this guy's in like another league, man. <laughs> yeah, he's 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 been doing it for a while, yeah, and, yeah. and he 
he just he just he's rocks in. Bro. He's a and he's a riot. Yeah. You listen to him talk for ten yeah. minutes. <laughs> You're gonna go over yeah. and say, what the, fuck? <laughs> what the fuck did I just listen <laughs> yeah, to? Yeah, this guy's crazy. He's stories, yeah. man. He's, yeah, he's amazing. He was at Itamala. You guys are a bit too young for Itamala. Yeah, he worked with no. Dave. I, I don't remember. Yeah, Dave was there. Dave yeah. was in the drum shop. Right. But that rental is where he was, and there was another guy, Sergio uh, right, right, right. Travaglioni. I mean, those guys. It was, like, <laughs> it was. I would go there to hang out. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Besides buying gear, yeah, being... like I would go there and just hang out for hours. Like, would you? It's an hour. You're here. Yeah, I know. I'm just. I know. I'm just just shooting, shooting the shit. Buy yeah. something. Or... I, yeah, <laughs> yeah, I bought enough, bro. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> wow, that's uh. Uh, okay, guys, so like I said, amazing. We're going to do a little game, if you guys are okay sure, with it. Yeah. It's something yeah. called First Thought. I'm going to ask you certain questions. And the first thought that comes to mind. Sure. So I'm going to start with uh, easy, easy yeah. questions. Favorite food? Uh, probably Mexican. Mexican, Mexican. Yeah, yeah, Like taco? It. Yeah, everything. Well, <laughs> I, I'm sure you know being where you, you're situated. It's all, it's like a little Mexico over here. Yes, it's like, yes, it's quite. It's yeah, quite, taco, yeah. everything, everything. I'm, I'm half Latino, so I've just been where eating that. Uh, well, my mom's from uh, Guatemala. So, oh, so, yeah, yeah but uh, yeah, I'd say Mexican. You still have to tell you. What takes over? What takes over? <laughs> Uh, the Latinos, I play, I play the salsa band. So fiery, yeah. Cool. Maron, fiery is not the question. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just, uh, yeah, cool, Mexican, Mexican food. Okay, cool. I mean, you know, classic pasta, pizza, you can't go wrong with that. Can't but go wrong. For sure, Mexican, like you know, Latin food, Spanish food, um, Asian food. What's you know? your favorite? Yeah, Asian food. Yeah, yeah, but it's food, man. It doesn't work <laughs> food. that way. Italian, right? Just food. Fucking right? everything. <laughs> Probably pizza, you know? Pizza? Every time I have pizza, it's like one day, it happens the next day, the day after that. So There's probably. something to pizza, though. Yeah. I, I, I love pizza, of course. <laughs> but, you know, you, sometimes you want the most amazing pizza, yeah. oven, oven baked and all of that stuff. And sometimes give me that piece of shit. Yeah. Corner, and I like <laughs> it. So, yeah. Whatever. Yeah, There's something you're right. It, There's you know? something to There's pizza. Definitely some, especially yeah. when it's like 1 or 2 a.m. and you're drunk. Oh, it's like, oh, yeah. Or in the morning. You want that greasy like corner shop pizza. Yeah. In the yeah. morning you wake up and you're cold pizza. over cold pizza. It's fantastic. So. Your, is yours pizza too? Mine, uh, mine is not. Wow, well, like, look, I love pizza. I love pasta. I'll smash that shit every day. <laughs> I think if I had to like really choose like my favorite, it'll probably be like a very nice thick ribeye. Cool, which is that's good nice. steak. Can't yeah, go yeah, I'm, I'm a can't go wrong. Like a really nicely cooked medium rare. Uh, I'm trying not to be so like typical Italian. <laughs> but that's, that's, that's <laughs> no, no. I think you know what, and I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be very typical and very like you know. Souvlaki. No, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a nice ramen. No, I, I love ramen, but I think the Sunday sugo you can't go wrong. You know, yeah, a Sunday. nice Sunday pasta, whether it's, it's at ritual, the you know? nonna's it's mom's, your own. It, it, that's what it is. It's the whole ritual behind that. With that, the that meatball sausages yeah, and the that's sauce. What it it's been there for Maybe not hours. a favorite food, but maybe like that favorite More ritual. Yeah. <laughs> okay. That's, okay. That's definitely what I love. So sure. I'm going to take it up a notch with favorite TV show. Oh, Seinfeld. no. Seinfeld. Oh, yeah, man. Without a doubt. That's oh, cool. I'm down with that. Oh, it's a hard so one. Many. That was a hard that's one for hard me. One. Yeah, I'm yeah, just constantly so watching. Yeah. <laughs> I recently watched Six Feet Under. It's like oh, a, I heard it was yeah, really good. Yeah, it's one of the best TV shows I've okay. ever seen. Okay, yeah, cool. Yeah. I'm definitely a big fan of comedy, so yeah. you know I can say so many answers, but I mean, it's always sunny in Philadelphia oh, for me. So it's so it's just sniped it out of my mouth. Really? Yeah, okay. I never watched that one. Oh, it's a riot. <laughs> yeah, he's got to choose it's another one. Wild. It's wild. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Honestly, I, 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 my, my fiance and I were like TV people, right? Okay. So we're more into TV shows than movies. Um, so maybe on my favorite, but what we've been watching right now, kind of like religiously, um, is this show called What We Do in the Shadows. That's oh, so good. Yeah, it's like a document. It, yeah? It's a do it's about a, it's like a document. It's a mockumentary. It's like the okay. office. And it's like the okay. office, okay. but okay. they're vampires. <laughs> so it's just Got ridiculous. You. And not my. I wouldn't say it's like my favorite of all time. I just can't think. But something. you're in, in it now. But right now, like I think we watched I mean, like sure, the like, first you know. three seasons already like three times. So <laughs> we're on the wow. binge mode. Oh, we're wow. on the binge mode. That's you know? serious binge. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Like not in a row, but within the year. 
We've been watching okay. it, and it's just. Well, we mentioned uh, Seinfeld. I mean, Curb is. Yeah, yeah. Curb. Curb. Okay, Curb. fine. So yeah. it would it'd probably Curb be Curb. But even me, it's it'd like, probably be Curb. You know, like I love The Sopranos, Breaking Bad. I could say yeah, The of Wire. Shows, like, Seinfeld is the show that I've been watching since I was like ten or if twelve. If it's on, you're watching. Even though you watch it eight times, yeah. you're still watching yeah. that. Reading. Dude, I watch it like it's on in the background. <laughs> I'm like doing something else. I I could listen to it and quote it. I could watch it on mute and quote it. Like yeah, yeah. you're definitely you're definitely uh, have a bit of an un- issue with it. <laughs> like an unhealthy yeah, you, amount. You need to get it's that check. Really, yeah, no, like, that's pretty. Yeah, so yeah. every so time we usually come to. Is it. that the one? Is that the the episode that got you? Probably so, not. It's not. I'm I'm more of like I can't even pick. I fuck. I love them all, man. They're so good. They are so good. I was like, we were. I was actually over there yesterday. Yeah, he was over. We were recording <laughs> we were recording vocals. vocals. I come in. He has it Seinfeld playing. TV. I was like, Jesus Christ. <laughs> no, I think Curb. I think for me it would be Curb. Curb. Okay. Yeah, that's yeah, a good second. Curb. Curb. I just watched the, the Penguin. Uh, I, I, well, I need to oh, I don't, don't say nothing. Okay, okay. <laughs> I'm like, I haven't so started four. yet. I want to it's, my mind. it's so good. That's my favorite. Like in terms of like hero super Batman's like, yeah. shit. That universe. So the universe is cool, but this took yeah, it. I hear took it's really the universe. Good. I gotta start. I hear it's a big like Soprano uh, vibes. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Definitely Soprano vibes. Like. The girl who played yeah. that part. With yeah. The, so yeah. Yeah. Probably. Yeah. Probably she's in yeah. Probably. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever. I don't know her name. Yeah. But anyway. Yeah. Really good. Okay. Oh, so start now, it. now we're gonna start. start it. Now we're okay. starting with it. Now you're gonna. Ice. Now uh, it's gonna get crazy. So like <laughs> best front person of all time. Right here. <laughs> oh, right here. Oh, right here. Oh, right here. Right here. Right here. I didn't have to think about it. Right here. That's a that's a Thank good you. one. Right best front man or best yeah. like lead vocalist? Front There's man. a difference. Yeah. Front man. Best front man. <laughs> Freddie yeah, Mercury, hard. man. I don't know. That's Freddie Mercury. I don't know, man. Like, to me, the best frontman has to have serious chops as well. I mean, David Lee Roth was crazy. He was an amazing frontman. He was incredible. For me, it's because of his vocals. Not that they're not good, but it's like there's, you know, he's the... One in of terms the of front man, like, I mean, I guess, like, yeah. But know, to me, part of the front man so has to have vocal? that. Okay, yeah. So Freddie, like, not that David is not good, but sure. because Freddie had the voice too, I'm down with Freddie. That's you know? it. That's like, my vibe, you know? I was, I was, you know, Freddie Mercury has the whole package. Yeah. Me wow. being like, okay, Guns N' Roses is probably like my favorite band since childhood. So okay. I'm going to say like 1992 Axl Rose. Oh, <laughs> you have to, to specify the year. He has to specify the year. You know, these are like, like seven costume changes, like yeah. freaking running around. <laughs> when, he, when he shows no, up. I mean, for me, it's like, I don't always think about like, who's like the best. I know. Singer like a Freddie Mercury. Like, on my mind, like, quick thought was, like, the lead singer of, like, At the Drive-In slash, like, Mars Volta. Like, said, like when I used to watch him, yeah, like, on David Letterman's, I'm like, who the hell yeah. is this guy? I'm like, this is absolutely insane. Like, I, I, I'm not even listening to the music. I'm so distracted yeah, by, like, yeah. his movement. The uh, question is, like, it's a stupid question. <laughs> Who's the no, best? No. It is, because you can't There's so Who's your favorite? There's so many. There's it's so just, many. Like, There's just so to many. Have, get the conversation yeah, yeah. going. Do you, yeah. like, who would you, who do you look up to as a... My my vocal inspirations, I mean, one of my first like rock introductions, as much as this sounds redundant, was obviously the Beatles. I'm a huge Paul McCartney fan. Can't go but wrong. I've also I also learned how to sing in a way with Believe it or not, with the uh, with uh, Brandon Boyd from uh, Incubus, sure. okay. yeah. he's been a huge inspiration for me. Uh, I think I had just gone into that band and I had just started singing for the first time, and I realized that you know I find he's very as much like he's an excellent singer, great front man, but he could almost be like a Broadway singer for how clear he oh, sings. Yeah. So I really, I really you, took all of that, but one of the performers, I, not an inspiration for me, but I saw Elton John a couple of years ago, yeah, and so even cool. at the age he was so, at, so good. and look, then I got into a huge downward like <laughs> hole in Elton John watching videos. Yeah. Uh, he was something else. He, is, he, he is. was something else. So, so I think good. that yeah. he would be probably one of my top. Okay. Nice. But I'm um, a big uh, Beatles influence. Uh, Arctic Monkeys was one of my huge cool. uh, vocal uh, lyrically. Them. Uh, definitely 
Led Zeppelin with the raspiness. So Robert Plant, Robert Plant uh, but Incubus has more of an influence on me than I would have I would have expected. Thought. Okay. Yeah, okay, I would have thought. Yeah. Gotta give a shout out yeah. to Mick Jagger too at his age. Yeah. Right his age, but not on how he also, didn't have four heart attacks. Steven <laughs> Tyler. <laughs> Steven Tyler. Steven Tyler. Steven Tyler. Yes. Yeah. But yeah. you know what? So, I've seen Green Day like five or six times, and Billy Joe is like honestly one of the best yeah. frontmen yeah. I've ever seen. Do you guys he, like Linkin Park? I'm yeah. not a huge fan. I went through a little phase. Yeah, a little yeah, phase. Yeah, I, was, yeah, I went through a phase. Like sure. the girl I just came for in? For sure. I mean, no, kudos I don't know to her. You know, it's a big shoe to fill. You know, yeah. Chester was unbelievable. Yeah. Yeah. You know, that voice is, is, is iconic. Even just, I mean, Chester, I knew he was good. But when I heard him sing like a, a Led Zeppelin song, I was like, holy yeah, shit, this is. Yeah. But... Uh, so when he did the cover stuff. With yeah, Sarah I Shea. heard that. I was like, oh my God. Like, I didn't realize like how good you were. But yeah. uh, no, nah, I mean, kudos to her Like, uh, in terms of like being able to sing like that. I don't know much about it. I'm like, yeah. not like yeah. actively listening to her. But... Not, I, I don't, I, like I kind of heard of them. I never had my yeah. son. My son's heavy into metal rock and all of that cool. stuff. And he was, this week, he was listening. I was like, yeah, man. Yeah, man, this this is good shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. she's good too. Oh, great. Yeah, she's songs. great. Yeah, there's a couple of songs for sure, but that's not what I seek out when I want that kind of music. Gotcha. You know, so. Okay. Mm-hmm. But Chester was yeah. great. Chester was like, if anything, the best part of that band, you know. So to me, okay. at least. So now, usually, I ask greatest guitar player of all time, <laughs> and I'm going to ask that, but I'm going to ask on each of your of, of like your <sighs> instruments, so greatest oh, guitar okay. player of all time. Okay. I know, you can't 1992 pick one, right? slash. <laughs> like I'm gonna go with Jimi Hendrix just because yeah, of his impact, and you know what I mean. He's like, he's like God, bro. It's cool. like, is he? Yeah. You know, you hear so many, uh, so many interviews of like, uh, you know, Clapton, Beck, uh, Paul McCartney going yeah. to a show, and like, this guy's fucking crazy, man. <laughs> <You know? laughs> so that's gotta tell you something. Yeah, true. Right, but like I, I you know, obviously Slash is like one of my. Is he? Like, he's your guy. Like your inspiration. He's his guy. He's so his I, guy. Okay. I, I learned a lot of like lead playing through learning like his souls and stuff. Also, Angus Young was like a huge, yeah. huge uh, influence growing up. But then it's like one one guitar sort of leads you into another, and then it leads you into yeah. another and another and another, and then, until you get to like these crazy jazz fusion guys like Guthrie Govan and shit like that. <laughs> which like probably like alive today, like Guthrie Govan is probably like the craziest guitar player. Oh, I've ever so seen. Okay. So many. And then you look on like like YouTube or TikTok or whatever, and you see these guys like. Ooh, Were you fucking... part of the Satriani clique and the uh, yeah, you know, Bob I listened, and all of yeah, that. Yeah, I've, I've I listened to like Satriani, like Steve Vai, like all those guys. Where like the the lead guitar is like the main voice of the song, and, you know, yeah. it's like the guitar is the the melody. What was and that all. band that had the two fucking Paul uh, Paul Gilbert was Paul playing? Gilbert's sick, yeah. And there was uh, what was the other guitar player in the? Uh, like a Paul Gilbert played in a band. Was it White Big, Snake? Uh, big something. Mr. Big. Mr. Big. Mr. Big. Mr. Big. Yeah, like Paul Gilbert and the other guy was even fucking better. Like yeah, a yeah. monster. Like what the hell is this? There's so many monster players that even like Jeff Beck was like a major Jeff Beck, yes, influence yes. on me. Jimmy Page. Like, Eric Clapton. Not all dude, there's so many. You know what I mean? I so guess. if you had to pick one, who would pick it be? One. Would it pick be Jimmy? One. Jimi Hendrix, Page, Jimmy Page. Fuck, you know, even Frushanti like had a very impactful. I, I have to go with Slash. Okay, there you so, go. Yeah, man, that's cool. You know, like if I if I look at the totality of like um, the basis of my playing, it's like blues meets like hard rock. Hard so, rock, like, cool. The Slash influence is definitely there, so I'll go okay. with. Slash is the guy. Yeah. Who's the best guess, singer? Best singer. Yeah. You know what? Uh, I owe a lot of my screaming let's say my high head voice uh-huh. uh, to robert plant Beautiful. so i'm gonna go with him can't go wrong i'm though. gonna go with him okay yeah. solid, cool. yeah. solid choice solid choice yeah. <sighs> bass like player it. who's who's playing bass? I don't like who's this slapping part. it i don't like who's this playing question. bass listen i know i could go into so many but like my first two was like between like flea yeah you know flea's you flea know is flea. so versatile being even I think he's the most famous bass player. Like, I mean, he's incredible. Who you else? Know, like, like, there's a lot of great bass players, but like that the average person knows. Yeah, Paul, I mean, Paul Chili Peppers is a huge. Yeah, I guess Paul McCartney. Yeah. And my second was Paul. I mean, because I just the Beatles to me is like for real. Like, I think the best band of all time. Like, I I want to say that you yeah. know, but like, you can't, you can't, it's you the can't songwriting, the bass is so hot so, take, hot take. Yeah, yeah, no, I'm trying to know, like, it's the bass take. is so <laughs> under. He's not like playing like flea, but his bass playing is melodic. Sometimes, sometimes it's like a bit punk without 
<laughs> before it even came out, you know, like, but Flea for sure is like in terms of like, you know, try to aspire to be that more like lead kind of bass, but sometimes he just plays to yeah. serve the well, song. Side note, it's like, because we're like one guitar, one bass, a lot of, there's a lot of that Chili Peppers sort of sure. approach where it's like the bass is doing like a two note chord while the guitar is doing like a simplified two note chord, like, you know, like that, sort of yeah. that. We do have a lot of that like Frushanti flea relationship in terms of how to approach. To fill up the, the, to the, fill the up gap. The, I also learned exactly. from a lot of guitarists too, you know? So like sure. sometimes I'll pick up a bass like a bad guitarist. <laughs> like, <laughs> I, I think I'm better like maybe at bass in general, but uh, yeah, flea, flea and Paul so McCartney. Uh, most um, bass players come from playing guitar and they just don't have a bass player. So like, okay, I'll play the yeah, bass. Yeah. <laughs> like, like, I mean, that's kind of how it started. I mean, my brother played guitar <laughs> and, he's like, yeah, I'm like, and I used to play drums. I'm like, I don't know if drums is for me. He's like, you know, you should buy a bass. <laughs> like, we already have a guitar. He's like, we should get a bass. I was like, that's a good idea. All right. Actually. I was talking to Daniel, who's a bass player. And yes, I was talking to him yesterday and I said, because I need a, you know, I had to book a gig and I said, fuck, can't you just play guitar on the gig? And he's like, bro, I don't know anything about the guitar. <laughs> I was like, How do, you're a bass player. How the fuck do you not know? He goes, well, why? I go, why do most bass players know guitar? It's fucking shredding balls. And it's like, <laughs> but he can't play guitar. And I was like, why? Play a G chord, man. And he goes, dude, most bass players come because they played guitar first and they just needed a bass player. He goes, yeah. I just like the bass to start with. So cool. I went straight there. I was there like, you go. okay, cool. fuck off then. Hey, you're, <laughs> you're not helping me. Sometimes putting all your eggs in one basket, man. Yeah, there pays you go. Off. Yeah, pays off. And now we got drum. This is a tough this one. Well, I'm thinking like I w even before you asked, I was hoping yeah, you wouldn't you ask. Gotcha. You would. and, and I was like, oh man, I, I literally can't answer. It. Uh, there's so many. Probably the the two that had the biggest impact on me because when I was younger, I was really into like metal and. Uh, but I used to listen to everything else. But the original drummer from Event Sevenfold, the Rev. Oh yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, man! Great drummer. So he was yeah, so good. Absolutely. So, yeah. but at everything, like composing, he would write a lot of the songs. Just oh, I wrote this, and there's pianos and keyboard, there's uh, trumpets, and and uh, just a bunch of different the merengue styles, like everything. Uh, him, Mo Carlson from Protest the Hero. Then you get then you get into Mike Portnoy. Then Mike you get Portnoy. into the Dennis Chambers, Tony Roaster Jr. All 20, the all 20, all yeah, the gospel all, all the, the gospel drummers. Those man. guys are like Tony Royster. They're my favorite to watch though. Of course, they're so good. But they're it's actually almost too good that it's detrimental. Yeah, in, yeah, in yeah. the sense that like you, you know John up, Bonham bro. is amazing. Yeah, he's got that feel. Yeah, yeah. and the minute you know Dave Weckles. I think yeah, he's one of my idols. And he's probably the best I've ever seen, but he's too good. He's too good. He kills, like, yeah, he'll yeah. kill a song yeah, yeah, because yeah, he's, yeah. he's just, a, it's like yeah, too yeah. good. He takes over the whole Crazy song. Crazy polyrhythms and someone's yeah. like strumming a chord. Like. Right? It's like, <laughs> yeah, I don't care yeah. at all about any other instrument because he's fucking murdering the well, shit out of it. It's like, you know? but, but that, that, that's true with this generation too because, like, no matter how good you are or how good you think you are, you can go online and there's like, Oh, Some man. little three-year-old kid that's just three -year -old way kids. better than oh, anyone you've <laughs> ever that heard. From? What the fuck? What's is going that? on? Like, it's true. There's that little Asian girl. Did you see I, that little Asian yeah, girl? it's usually they're Asian. <laughs> <laughs> they're just yeah, it's a, ripping on the piano. There's always an Asian somewhere better than you. Yeah, there's yeah. There was a, a, yeah, there was a oh, bass player I was watching. Yeah, yeah. yeah I love, Aaron I love the bass. I mean, he, yeah, so like R&B bassist. They don't don't cancel me. They don't want to say that. <laughs> there's there's a kid called Justin Schultz. I don't know if you know Justin no, Schultz. No. Okay, oh, this you. fucking kid. I fell in love with him. He was 15 and he was destroying the piano. And I was like, wow, this kid can play 15. Yeah. Wow, amazing. The next thing you know, he does a song where he's playing jazz, like he's fucking ripping a solo. And he's in his little studio and he's ripping the solo. Picks up the guitar. Rips a solo, grabs the bass, rips uh, a solo. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I know exactly and what you're then, talking about. Then, and I'm like, what the fuck? But you're like, okay, you know, guitar, piano, bass, whatever. I mean, it's fucked up. Yeah, yeah. Pulls a sax. Oh, uh, my God. <laughs> Does he mix it too? Like, he, is it that kid? That he no, that's mix? Miles. Oh, dude. yeah, yeah. That's, that's the guy that mixes. Yeah, that's oh, like yeah. an eight-year-old kid just like, <laughs> he mixes his own songs. Did he put a filter on Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Fucking Could have dropped it down a semitone and, and bring up the thing. Guy, like what the hell's he going does, on? Yeah. He sings certain songs with um, 
that fucking breathalyzer thing. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like a vocalizer. It's like a corner. No corner, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I'm like, and he's 15 and he's killing it. I was like, okay, man, this is... They, have a, they have a lot more content, too, to add accessible you know like yeah but the old school people uh, had to like listen to it it's a different kind of generation. i know how much i practiced but, yeah I, I mean, yeah fucking back in the day now less because we play a lot but yeah. i mean I, fuck i did two hours a day man yeah 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. some yeah, people yeah, just yeah. have that savants they're savants yeah. they just get it what the they fuck? just get fuck it fuck you yeah <laughs> don't fuck yourself. And, it, and it sucks because yeah. like a lot of people aren't they don't make money in music so you're gonna have all that talent and he's like gonna become a carpenter and you're gonna be like oh no <laughs> it hurts <laughs> but to, like tony royster tony royster yeah. was a drummer i saw him when he was 13 yeah. at the drum festival oh, I've, so, yeah i've seen him. that clip this kid's gonna be amazing and he is but yeah. i mean i see his videos he's still in his garage it's a little garage yeah and, you know i'm sure he tours and plays with yeah him. A lot, but it's just not. That's, that's what it is yeah. to be a musician. That's yeah. what it is. That's yeah. what it is. You do it. You do it. For um, you. Yeah, our time is good. Did I pass it already? Yeah. I passed it a long time. Yes. Okay, so we have time cues. I just don't follow them. <laughs> uh, guys, I often, wow. So, like, where can we find the, find the Housefly Hum? Where uh, is it? Social all media? All yeah. Social media, yeah. I mean, yeah. we mainly. Uh, Apple Music, Spotify, all streaming Instagram, platforms, Facebook. You can find us anywhere. Just look up Housefly. House I don't think there's another band anywhere. called that, so we're probably like one of the first hits. <laughs> cool, man. Yeah. You guys sound great. Yeah. I'd like to thank you for coming on to the podcast. Yeah. Uh, thank you for thank you. Us. Anytime you guys want to come uh, on We brought you a little gift, dude. Oh, wow. Is, it, is this a t-shirt? This is a t-shirt. Fuck! Yeah, <laughs> man. I'm wearing this it's next sad. podcast. He's got he's got the hoodie on. The hoodie. He's got the t-shirt. It's from the first you EP. Guys, you guys like at the show you you sell your merch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Merch yeah. And that, stuff. Let's, let's so this is from the, the EP. Guys. This is. Oh, cool. That's from the morning, morning light EP, the first EP. That That's yeah. amazing. Thank you. I really appreciate it. We can have another drink for that. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's how we send it off, man. Cheers, guys. Nah, uh, man. Are, are you guys <laughs> We're on We're on end. The bottle's here. The bottle's here, man. Let's pass it around. So how long have we been doing this? Uh, this the podcast? podcast we're hitting, we hit seventy episodes. Already. Wow! Wow! Seven zero. Yeah. You started man. how? Long? It's what? Two and a half years. Two and a half. Every wow! Second. Nice. No, it's got to be three because yeah. if we hit seventy episodes, it's bi-weekly. Yeah. 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 So more or less. More, yeah, but yeah. But yeah. So also about two to three years of that, bro. It's a easily yeah. three. Years. Nice. All right. Cheers. 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 Thanks Thank again. You. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers. God, I love tequila. Dude, that's the Mexican. Everybody's going to want to be on this on your podcast. It goes on pretty easy, this one. Though, it's I so say. good, yeah. You know what? I wasn't a big... I went on a cruise a little while ago, and we did Mexico, and it was like 9 in the morning, and I'm shopping, and at the mall, it was a mall, I was like... Tequila at 9 o'clock in the morning? I swear to God. Hey, you want tequila? Yeah. It's a vacation. So, you know? Every store, I had like two tequilas. I didn't pay for one of it. I was like, this You're is like, perfect. I want a boat, dude, obviously. Mm. So good. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so guys, thanks a lot. I don't know if you guys want to play out a song just to. Uh, we have another one. Sure. Yeah, why, why not? not? We're here. We got a guitar. Sure, why not? Play out a song. So guys, I like. I'm gonna say the ending. Thank you so much for watching House Fly Hum. You gotta check them out if they're playing live. Definitely check it out. Lisa, thank you so play much. Off. No problem. Thank you. I didn't really do anything. Man. No problem. And thanks for watching sessions with Steph. Keep it up and check out House Fly Hum. Play a song that's already out. So we're trying to. Oh, we're trying to figure it out. There's a debate happening. <laughs> Okay, let's play It's All Better then. Okay. It's all Perfect, better? yeah. There you go. And by the way, like I noticed that you're singing. You're sitting down singing. And the notes are coming out of everywhere. <laughs> and you're sitting down. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Without a gun, you can't depend upon anything to help us through this place we knew is not the same as it always been. How can you say it's all better when this is clearly the
Now that the cards have dealt Something so heartfelt We can share the pain, rebuild again Just keep moving forward Until we reach the Thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Steph is now done.